U.S. President Barack Obama is in Asia ahead of a scheduled meeting with G7 nations in Japan. He stopped in Vietnam and announced the United States would begin selling weapons to its former enemy. For more on the significance of this deal, we're joined by CCTV's Sean Caleb. He's in our Washington newsroom. Sean. Elaine, thanks much. The U.S. embargo on selling lethal military equipment to Vietnam was partially lifted a couple of years ago. After being in effect for nearly five decades, Obama says the U.S. is now willing to begin selling military hardware again to Hanoi. Obama met with President Tran Dai Huang in the Vietnamese capital. Obama went to great lengths to stress Vietnam will need to meet strict requirements, including an improvement in human rights to receive weapons. The U.S. president says the deal shows a commitment to normalize relations with Vietnam, as well as providing Vietnam the ability to defend itself. Now, this announcement comes as tension remains elevated in the South China Sea. China has been reclaiming land in the region's small islands and reefs. It's also built airfields that some of China's neighbors consider a threat. While China denies saber-rattling, Obama says the decision to sell arms to Vietnam has nothing to do with activity in the South China Sea. China's foreign ministry is weighing in on the announcement, saying the hope is that the deal will foster peace and stability within the area. As a neighbor, China is pleased to see Vietnam develop normal and friendly cooperative relations with all countries, including the United States. We also wish the development of the friendly cooperative relationship will help regional peace, stability and development. Meanwhile, Russia says the U.S. decision will not affect sale, its sale of weapons to Vietnam. Rather, Russia says the two nations enjoy what they call a strategic relationship. Sean, no question the relationship between Vietnam and the U.S. has been improving, and there are strong economic ties to build on. Is that right? Absolutely, and the relations between these two former enemies were normalized more than 20 years ago, so it makes sense. There has been a strong commercial bond over those last two decades, and today Obama and President Tran witnessed the signing of an $11.3 billion deal that allows Vietjet, a Vietnamese airline, to buy $11.3 million uh, billion dollars, rather, worth $100 uh, Boeing aircraft, rather, 737. Obama also announced at the same time the Peace Corps will be going to Vietnam for the first time, and the reason chiefly to teach English there. Mm. Sean Caleb's in our Washington newsroom. Thanks.